You've all probably heard the worst case scenario stories of the market crashing, making people lose tons of money on their investments. But a couple of years later, someone might step out and show you how they actually made millions from the crash. Sometimes even billions, if they're lucky. So no, the market crashing is not a devastation entirely. So now we will break the tactics for you on how you can make good money during a stock market crash. Welcome to Financial Market TV. If you're new to the channel and enjoy content like this, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, please don't hesitate to share your comments down below and give this video a like. Let's get started. There are several stock market horror stories. Some that you might be familiar about if you're following the trends, we have GoPro, the action camera empire that everyone expected to be worth hundreds of billions of dollars over time. But if we fast forward a few years later after its release, you can barely see anyone ecstatic over their products. This led their stocks to go downhill and eventually crash by over 90%. Looking at this example, it's obvious that a number of shareholders and investors lost an amount of money. But a small minority of strategic minds were able to use the crash as an advantage to gain profit and actually earn more money. What they did was to identify these stocks' hype and shorten them. So once these companies hit rock bottom, these investors made good money. Because when you short a stock, you profit if it goes down and you lose money if it goes up. So what do you have to do? Figure out which trends are obviously overhyped at a point and through shorting them, you can earn a lot of money. Sometimes it's easy to tell which ones are overhyped. You have certain red flags to look out for, such as visibility on social media, public demand, or basically everyone talking about it. Like Bitcoin. During the height of Bitcoin, almost everyone in the world was talking about cryptocurrency. Even people who knew nothing of investments, but apparently saw it on Facebook. It was all over the internet, the news, and in conversations over a few drinks on a Friday night. So when everyone was fawning over Bitcoin, one thing led to another and the bubble popped. So shorting certain individual stocks that seem too good to be true is one way you can make money in a market crash. That's exactly what Michael Burry used to do when he himself made money from a crash. He shorted subprime mortgage and George Soros, he shorted the British pound, earning him his billion dollars in a day. Would you believe that you can also short a stock market as a whole? If you're brave enough to gamble, today the stock market is at an all-time high and a lot of stock analysts are saying that it's definitely overvalued. Even Michael Burry himself agrees that the market is overinflated today. According to him, index fund inflows are now distorting prices for stocks and bonds in much the same way that CDO purchases did for subprime mortgages more than a decade ago. Now, if you short on this particular bond that's about to crash, you will eventually be earning a ton of money. But the question remains, when is the crash going to happen? We never really know when the next one is going to occur. It could be in a few days or it could be in at least five years from now. So it might not be the best suggestion to short the stock market as a whole because you never can pick the right timing. And another thing, the market will continuously earn money over time and will only have these certain downhill crashes once in a while. But again, we can never tell when. So we think it's better to use our initial strategy, which is to short overhyped stocks or currencies that you can easily spot. Putting your gamble on these individually will not necessarily give you a bigger amount of profit than shorting the entire stock market, but it's safer and more guaranteed. The next method that you can consider to make money in a market crash is called the Warren Buffett method. Let's begin this one by looking over a few history notes from the past year. In the middle of 07 and 09, it wasn't a good year to invest in the stock market. It was when the housing bubble crash occurred, as well as the market crashing drastically. Looking at the records, it shows that it crashed to about half of its total percentage from November of 07 to March of 09. So if you were one who invested in the market during those times, you would have lost 50% of your worth in over a year. If it wasn't bad enough, some investors lost more than half as well as their entire life savings. Warren Buffett said this is what people naturally do. He calls it emotional investing. At the end of the crash, they take all their money and instead place it into a presumably more secure asset such as cash in a bank. What could be more secure than untouched bills, am I right? Then they turn from stocks thinking how financially damaged they have become after the crash. So. What they do is they sell their shares during the bottom of the crash as prices are reduced, making them somehow cheaper. This sounds like cheap emotional investing. On the other hand, this is a perfect opportunity for investors don't invest with their emotions, but instead base their next move on facts. 
Facts of the matter were that in early 2009, the crash was actually the best time to invest. Sound fishy? Obviously, during the crash, people were panicking, and most were selling their stocks instantly. It was like stock market was running amok. So this is the perfect time to actually buy since stocks are pretty much on sale. Warren Buffett was always cautious on the number of stocks he bought back in 2007, saving him tons of money. But during the crash in 2009, Buffett went on a buying spree with all of his money that he had been saving up for a long time. And it definitely paid off. Those who were buying stocks whilst others were selling theirs actually had the highest return. This is because the stock market in 2009, just a little after the crash, had gone over 400%. So if you want to gain some earnings from a market crash, remember that the crash is the best time to buy stocks, even if everyone is trying to sell out their shares. But you might be wondering, if the markets went up by 400%, that does not equate to becoming an instant millionaire. Yes, that is true, but you are missing out on an important factor, and that is compound interest. There is an old tale long ago of an old man asking for a final wish from the wealthy king before he died. The king decided to grant it, depending if he can accommodate it. The old man then pertained to the king's old chessboard, specifically to the squares. He asked the king if he could give his family one grain of rice for the first square, two grains for the second, four for the third, eight for the fourth, and so on. Basically, doubling the number every time he goes to the next square. The king agreed, thinking it did not sound serious, but after the king had finished and figured out the total number, he realized he didn't have enough resources and even had to give his whole kingdom away. That, my friends, is the power of compound interest. If you start investing even just in small amounts now, you have the power of time to turn that into millions in the future. What you need to further add is higher return which in fact you can get by investing after a crash. You can actually sit back and let your investments compound over time and you will definitely see it grow. Now, one of the most important tips you need to remember after everything is choosing the right investments at the right time. You need to study a lot of records and data based on the trends. In a graph by Fidelity, you can see different sectors that do poorly or do well in the market. At the top of the rating, you have the precious metals such as gold, whose value does not depreciate so often, if not at all. You can also take into account healthcare and non-cyclicals. However, once the market crashes, you may need to shift your attention to consumer cyclicals and financial stocks, which are found at the bottom. They also are usually at a very low price during a crash. However, once the market is rebounding from its downfall, you can now direct your strategies onto sectors like transportation and, most importantly, technology. Tech has such a great potential to grow after a market crash. Take Netflix, for example. Stocks after 2009 have gone up to 6,000%. And Amazon, which went up by 4,500%. And Apple, which was up by 3,500%. So in hindsight, a market crash is often painted as a financial crisis for the most part. However, if you have taken note of the different strategies in this video and shift your sales to a different approach, you may actually beat the odds of a market crash or, should we say, turning crash into cash. Thanks for watching the whole video. Again, if you're new and like this type of content, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit that like button. Also, click on the notification bell to get updated on our weekly uploads. See you in the next video.